Hey hoes, thanks for watching. Um, keep watching this video because there is a special giveaway where I give away 10 coins that we blessed across Brad's uh, grave. Uh, they're all very special and keep watching because you'll see the prayers that I did on each coin. Somewhere in the video, I will give the instructions on how to win. Hey ho, Lydia Duprat here, AKA the whole mentor, and I mentor hoes. That's right, hoes. Um, yes, I'm wearing my Dallas Cowboys merch that was accidentally sent to me and I kept it because I believed it was a message from our patron, Saint Bradley, and I'm wearing it right now because I'm going to visit his grave. And I want him to bless the hoes and the sugar babies out there. He's in like a super bougie uh, Jewish cemetery. So I feel like I'm so excited to see it because honestly it looks so nice. <laughs> Off to see Brad. Here we go. supposed to be markings came in through there oh my god I can see it and the irony is I parked at that door Brad is right there in this entire place I parked exactly where he was Adele Hazan Stewart. Who is that? Oh. Who is that? Oh wait, 1920, 1980. Okay, it's definitely not a side chick. Oh my god. Brad. Bradley Aaron Carmel. Always loving, always loved. Oh my frick. Why is this? Oh my god, someone left him weed! Someone left Brad a joint! <laughs> oh, what's this? Brad, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just looking at it. A nickel? A nickel? Or maybe you don't want to get nickeled and dimed. It's classic you. Hi. It's Demanda. <laughs> We have a lot to catch up on. I'm sorry that we never got to reconcile things and find a way to make it work while you were alive. I'm sorry for that. And I feel like we could have had a better time. Um, and you know that jerk that I was with that you did not know about? My bodyguard, bodyguard my gay bodyguard? Um, we broke up. And I feel like... So we broke up the day after I went viral with your story and I my first thought was it is Brad's wrath and he's mad at me and he's mad at the guy but it turns out the guy was actual garbage and there's a lot of things that came to light that he didn't know about and I feel like that you saw and that you didn't want me to have any part in and I understand now I have chills over my entire body. Look, I wore the shirt that you sent me. I wore it. Do you like it? 
I have some weed too, but it's CBD. I feel like you wouldn't like it. I could get some. Pi no, I'm not gonna bring you pills. And I'm certainly not gonna bring you whippets. <laughs> the low key. That would be so funny if I brought you whippets. <laughs> this is a thing that I still have that you bought me that I did not sell or get stolen from me. And it's an Estee Lauder limited edition compact and it was super expensive and I just I love it and I use it all the time to powder my nose and it even has the date 2015 so look I still have something that you gave me can you bless it as a sacred object I don't know how blessings work but bless it I'll dress up like a schoolgirl if you if you bless my compact. Cute. Okay, we have to bless something for the other hoes too now. You you would have loved my company, and I also have to tell you something else. So, remember when you bought me that domain because I told you I wanted to start a makeup company, Bitch Cosmetics. That was the last thing you ever bought me. The last thing. And I started a makeup company and it became really successful. I'm so fast. And part of the reason why it became successful is because of my viral story. Because the New York Post wrote about it. And they were like, viral escort launches sex proof makeup company. And I just feel like... I just feel like, like I, I heard you. I got you. You know, like I understand that you're still looking out for me. And you really, like, you really did that. Like, you really did that. And um, I just want you to know that it's not gone unnoticed. And I think about you multiple times a day. And every day I light a candle for you and ask for stuff. <laughs> and I really still want a G wagon and a Ferrari and a Bentley. So, <laughs> yeah. Because I just won't buy it for myself. I just won't. Um. I'm just so used to other people buying me uh, frivolous things. So I just feel like I don't want to buy it. But if I just like randomly, something random happened where it suddenly came into my possession, most definitely I would accept. So, <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to, but I, <laughs> Yes, okay, fine. You give me my own makeup company. I love you. I appreciate you. And you really put me on the map as a famous hoe. Oh my god, I got verified on Instagram. And I wouldn't be if it wasn't for you making me go viral. So, um, that racehorse, you thought that was going to be a big gift? It's nothing. You gave me a career. And I know that the company is going to grow even bigger and turn into more than you would have left me in the will and i know that's what you'd want for me also um i was gonna bring you a two dollar bill but i was like i i know that you would want me to keep it like why would i ever give my sugar daddy money <laughs> girl don't be getting sentimental like that um i know you wanted me to crip walk on your grave so I talked to some of my crip friends and they still don't know how to do it. They were like, Lydia, that definitely means something else to you, to us. But it's like... some coins some coins that's what the kids are calling them coins okay we're gonna do 10 we're gonna do 10 coins and then we're gonna pay it back to the hose and we're gonna we're gonna raffle them off do you brad bless this coin for a hoe who needs money especially oh my god there's this thing called corona it ugh, i don't even want to tell you about it you probably know please bless this coin 
for for sugar babies and hoes and people that need your strength and money your your big jewish real estate inheritance money you trust fun bastard i love you okay that's one blessed bradley please bless this other coin for a hoe in need for a sugar baby who wants to have a great sugar daddy Only you can help because you've been able to right your wrongs in the afterlife. And it's really nothing that a living sugar daddy would understand. Oh my god, I have a sugar baby. You oh you already know. Okay. Third one. Brad, please bless this quarter and turn it into so much more money for whichever hoe possesses it. Bad bitches only. Nora, Jewish star. Oh yeah, charge it up. Jewish power. Boom. Legend was born. Mm, legend died. Always loving. Always loving. I realize that. So please help whichever hoe touches these coins to find love in all love languages, not just material goods, because you could have had more to offer than that. There you go. Please bless this hoe who touches this coin with success, gifts, money, and a beautiful life where she never has to stress. And even like a sugar daddy that she's like sexually attracted to. Imagine. Brad, I'm calling on you again to please bless this coin for a special hoe who deserves it. Also, if I were to be raffling this off, you have to pick the hoes that deserve it. I don't want this going to any mm -hmm. hoes that don't deserve success. Mm. Always loving, always loved. Please make sure whatever hoe ends up winning this coin becomes successful and she feels loved and not enslaved to her material possessions because you can have it all and be the most miserable person ever and like low key that was you and we don't want anyone to feel that pain again okay bradley alan carmel please bless this coin with your love and you will in return be loved charge it up with your jewish power because you always said that in the afterlife that you would hook it up for me and that I would be able to be Jewish by proximity. So like your Jewish power is my own. Thank you, I love you. Okay, Brad, let's keep going. Bradley Allen Carmel. I summon thee to protect financially any hoe who touches this coin and don't make it like some weird hoodoo voodoo trade-off where like oh she'll have money but she'll be miserable i'm not playing that i'm the whole mentor now okay i only bring success i'm always loving and i'll always be loved just like you jewish power jewish power legend legend died but always Loving, always loved, and never forgotten. Get that manure, all of it. Mm. Bradley, Alan, Carmel of the New York Carmels. My hill person. I used to call Brad Brad a hill person because he lived in Beverly Hills and was so privileged that he would never understand. Uh, but he did understand being called a hill person, and he loved it. Okay. Bring these hoes every day as many gifts as you get on your Jewish holidays. Jewish superpowers, charge it up, charge it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, the number stood out to me, 1985. Okay, legend born, legend died, never forgotten. Bradley, Alan, Carmel. Bradley. Alan Carmel. 
please bring financial prosperity and emotional security and great sugar daddies or a sugar daddy that this hoe who touches this coin will love and be loved by. Just like it says, always loving, always loved. That's what we want in a sugar daddy. Bradley Allen Karma. Bradley Allen Karma. Gifts every day, no matter the holiday. Every day is a Jewish holiday. Every day is every holiday where you get presents, no matter your faith. A legend born, a legend died. Jewish superpowers and the whole that gets this coin will always be loving to her sugar daddy and in return he will always love her back and he will be fine he'll be fine as frick she she's gonna marry this one. Oh, i just got the chills whatever ho gets this one <sighs> okay brad i brought some wine to leave out for other dead people here you never want to show up without a gift i don't want to make anyone Jealous because their sugar babies haven't visited them. <laughs> Probably just their wives. <laughs> oh my god, that door just opened by itself. That door just opened and shut by itself. Let's open this wine and leave it out for other people's ancestors. You always want to bring offerings, you guys. Wine, tobacco, you know, those pleasures. Herbs, flowers. Right, people are like, that's weird. Um, I'm sorry, do you not bring flowers to a grave? That's called an offering. Ho. Have to drive. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in the center. It's right in front of you, Brad, so you can see it. You can see it. Brad. And wine. Okay, so that wine is for whatever spirits want it. It's just an offering. I'm sure it's been a while since someone brought you the good stuff. Who's tired of getting flowers when they already grow in the ground? You're like, um, yeah. <laughs> I've seen those before. Not special. Give me the good stuff. So, I know what's up. Before it gets dark. <laughs> Giveaway time! You made it this far. So here's what you do it, it's um, some follows and a repost. It's not gonna be that bad. So on Instagram, follow me, the whole mentor. Um, then follow ho underscore cosmetics. So that's my Instagrams. Then go to Twitter and do the same thing. Follow the whole mentor and whole cosmetics. Um, then you gotta subscribe to me on YouTube and comment on this video. Um, and do not be commenting with the time stamp. Skip to the giveaway. Don't do it. Um, and then I'm gonna post a picture on the whole mentor Instagram of, of these coins. 
Um, so I'm gonna need you to repost that and then tag me and tag Ho Cosmetics because that's how I'm gonna be finding the entries is through the tags and comments. So I'll post a picture, I don't know. So you know, some, some type of like, you know, whatever. So wait for that. Um, it will be posted sometime today and today is April 3rd. So, okay, good luck. And uh, oh, I'll announce the winner. So today's the third. I will announce the winner uh, on the 10th, April 10th. And then we'll be shipping the coins Monday the 13th. So I'm putting that on my calendar right now. Ship win coins. And um, oh, we'll DM you. So I, I mean, me, I will. <laughs> I'll DM you uh, the winners and uh, we'll make it like a whole thing. Anyway.